Kalura here from Hennepin County 4-H, here to give you a tutorial on project registration for the county fair online and fair entry. So, let's begin. So, entry day for 4-H project judging is Friday, June 14th from 2 to 6 p.m. Check-in begins as early as 1.30, with the last check-in being received at about 5.15, with the hope to conclude our judging by 6 p.m. And again, we'll be at Corcoran Lions Park for the Hennepin County Fair, which is at the edge between Osseo and Maple Grove. As you and your 4-H'er are getting ready for the fair, be sure you read through our 4-H Project Premium Book, which is our extensive project and event guide for this year. You can find this document at z.umn.edu slash Hennepin 4-H Premium Book. And this year, this document is entirely electronic. When you scroll to the table of contents page, you'll find all the various sections to read through. For example, if you're a new member, I would highly encourage you to read about the goals for 4-H exhibiting, as well as all the different events we have going on this summer, including Arts Review, which we just wrapped up last weekend, as well as the Hennepin County Fair, which is our largest 4-H project judging event, but we also have several other events throughout the summer. And today, for this particular tutorial, we'll be focusing on Section 5 of General Projects. So, when you click on this document, it'll take you to an entirely separate section. And this is on General 4-H Projects. And general in the 4-H terminology just essentially means not animal projects. And you'll read through the different types of um, guidelines, how to select a project, the type of building and dimensional requirements we have, and then here is also a page on page three of useful tips for creating a project display. But otherwise, the remaining 30 pages um, are the A to Z list of general projects you can choose from. And within each project would include some requirements as well as basic um, intermediate and advanced exhibit suggestions. So when you're ready to register your 4-H projects, you can head to hennepin-mn.fairentry.com to get to our county fair webpage. And please also make sure your 4-H'er is actively enrolled for the current 4-H year. That means they have active status in that 4-H online database for you and for us. And this is also important too to get that email and password ready from your 4-H online account because fair entry as well as 4-H online are synced. And you'll use those same credentials to get into this site as well. All right, so I'm going to log in my pretend child. And your role is family. And once you're logged into Fair Entry, you'll receive this welcome sign and you can say begin registration. And I'll select individual. And if you have more than one child in 4-H, you'll likely see more than one profile and you'll see um, an exhibitor name. An exhibitor is fair entries word for 4-H essentially. So I'm gonna pick my beautiful 12 year old child 4-H test entry named Test Junior. And I'll continue through this. From here, I'll continue to entries and add an entry. An entry for fair entry terminology means projects. When you select create entry, you'll see our system's hierarchy or categorized 4-H projects within the department and division level. You're welcome to click around and explore these different projects that are in 4-H. And please also note that many of our animal science and livestock projects have separate judging dates and locations outside of the Hennepin County Fair. And this particular tutorial, again, will explore general projects for grades 3rd through 13th, but please know clover buds as well as group projects will also be judged at the county fair, and you can explore these departments as well. So I am going to keep rolling and head into general projects and select again to see all classes A to Z and choose. So from here, I'm able to view all of our general project areas from A to Z, just like what's listed in the project premium book, all the way down to youth leadership. 
And within the single page, you not only have the ability to select multiple project areas of different projects you may be bringing, but also quantify them because you can bring more than one project in a single category. So let's say my beloved child is bringing two photos. So I'll go down to photography. And it's just a regular photo. There was no manipulation or filters or anything involved with that. Let's say they're bringing two from different vacations we went on. And maybe one needle art of a crochet project they did. And then one exploring the environment. And from there, you can select continue. And then you'll review your selections and notice that it separates out every single project. So you can see those individualized two photography projects that my child is bringing. And if it all looks correct, you can say create entries, otherwise cancel, go back and make your changes. And as you reach the final steps, again, you'll just be looking again to confirm that these projects are what your child will be bringing. You can continue to payment, and of course, there will not be a payment. That's just how this software is set up. It will be zero dollars, I promise. Just keep clicking continue until you're ready to go. And then the final step is submit. So once you hit submit, you'll be taken to this confirmation page that says thanks. And be sure to also check your email um, for that confirmation uh, piece as well. And please know, folks, that myself and Catherine, as well as our support staff, Askia, are here to help you walk you through these steps again and just get your projects registered. For general projects and Cloverbud, as well as club and group projects, we're asking for a county fair registration deadline of Monday, June 3rd. And for animal science, livestock, things that are happening outside of the county fair at other shows, we've extended your deadline to Monday, June 24th. So um, we'd also appreciate that registration to come in through fair entry as well and are happy to help uh, all our 4-Hers of any project walk, get you through that process. So thanks everyone for tuning in and we'll see you at the fair.